Speaking of people that they keep bringing back on the damn show, y'all see Nunu back. Nunu is back too. And Nunu is in the club acting real. Uh, I would say real. I was going to say real fake, but she's actually being real because Anna Mack is in the club performing, right? And she is not feeling it. So she 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 can't act fake with it. Uh, AK Bar did the same thing. When um, Biggie was performing, she was not feeling it. She even walked off the damn stage, right? So same thing that's going on. Um, well, I mean, we saw what Biggie did too. Biggie and Natalie got into it with Stunner, uh, you know, over Stunner Girl song being played, right? So this is uh, AK Bar, not AK Bar, my bad. Little Little Mac, all right? Uh, we call her um, Ren from Ren and Stimpy or Chicken from Cow and Chicken. Or Timon from Timon and Pumba. All right. Lil Mac. She performing her song. And look at Nunu. Look, everybody turning up, but look at, uh, look at Nunu. <laughs> look. <laughs> she is not. <laughs> she trying to be fake, but she can't fake it too much, y'all. Look. Uh, oh, my God. I, I, I'm just here. So, I'm you know, I'm getting paid. I'm getting paid. All right. Slim over here dancing. All right. Uh, Tashiki with the blonde wig. What's up with the blonde wigs? I'm telling y'all, it be giving MK Ultra. It be giving MK Ultra. Okay. I'll just leave it at that. Do your research. All right. You said, uh, I want new faces, girls we never seen before instead of all of the same old duck lips and diaper booties. Put a helicopter in the chat. Diaper booty is crazy. <laughs> Bitch. Yeah, di diapers, they, they, you said they walking around with the huggy bottoms. That's crazy. The huggy bottoms is crazy. You said you thought that was Natalie at the bottom? Oh, at the top? Nah, that's the Shiki. That's a good point because Natalie did just have a blonde hair on. Yeah, they do look alike, right? Is Tashiki trying to look like Natalie? You said Tashiki looking like uh Ronnie from Players Club? Oh my god. <laughs> Girl, you gotta use what you got to get what you want. Oh. That's crazy. Like I'm a real psycho crazy bitch. Like I go dumb. Oh my! <laughs> Nunu can only act as fake as she can for a while. All right. Okay. Uh. But yeah, let's see what the comments say. Somebody said, uh, I don't care how much I don't like someone. I'm not a hater. Never is, never will be. Um, wait, is it is this uh her? Oh, this is a fan page. This is not even uh Nunu. What the hell? Funyan says, Why wait, why Nunu face card T as F? Um, I don't think Nunu ever been uh unattractive. Nunu's not a uh, not an ugly chick. Um, I don't condone forcing people to be friends with people uh, that they don't f with. Uh, you can be cordial, but that ain't my friend, right? Wait, y'all brought Nunu back. Uh, you're late. Nunu about getting her coins. Yes, she is. She kept it very classy, very cute, very demure, very mindful. Okay, so my baby Nunu in the building. Okay. Anna really is a girl's girl, so yes, uh, they made up. No, they didn't made up. They they fought. <laughs> she just she just doing her thing. Is that Slim? Yes, that's Slim right next to her. That's Slim right uh under uh Anna. They brought Slim and Nunu back. Um, all all her songs is whack, no shade, dang. Uh, cause why it look like Nunu low key knows the words to Anna song. <laughs> Uh, nah, it don't look like she know the song. 
she just kind of just you know so where is her black eye uh nunu can you and anna make up and have a sit down or something remember y'all don't have a job real y'all don't have a job real reason to be beefing and um fighting don't let production manipulate you guys be grown hash things out uh man this is a tv show y'all them ladies beef don't be that deep of course they don't that look like tashiki that is tashiki <laughs> all right that do look like natalie though tashiki looking like natalie all right and then speaking of natalie natalie and tashiki is back i'm um, natalie and tashiki natalie and anna mac is back on good terms remember natalie and uh anna mac was going back and forth last night over the whole stunner girl and biggie beef right man i'm telling you you can't take none of this stuff seriously look this is uh natalie nunn's story all right she posted her tomorrow i love her that that's my girl all right they made amends so now th this is when uh she performed and this is literally the same clip but this is uh from this is from natalie's point of view all right so it was somebody other angle where they got new new slim and anna mac and tashiki but natalie was right next to them so i guess they back on good terms even though anna mac was throwing shade all right throwing shade towards uh natalie and natalie said girl you can you know you can leave too and blah -de blah blah they they back on good terms you said funny with the switch up funny and been quiet since this little crash out yeah huh? i haven't actually been seeing them that much huh all right um oh you might you you, you might have a point the cheeky uh <laughs> the cheeky pulled up on natalie I do think I, I do think Natalie's scared of Tashiki. I thought that was Carly Red in the polka dots. <laughs> was Carly Red on baddies? Carly Red wasn't on baddies, was she? I know Sky was. Sky and Tommy. All right. Oh, you said Nunu was given. I just came to dance. That's it from Players Club. <laughs> I just came to dance um what y'all saying man that is funny though that y'all saying that uh <laughs> the shiki uh basically threatened natalie to uh to be cool with anna and i can see bro anna got so many guard dogs right she got ivory on her side now dtb to shiki that's all she need all right that's all she need but yeah natalie and uh Anna Mac are back on good terms okay and remember Roly was throwing shade too saying that we was all real sisters we all supposed to be best friends right um we got Roly and Tashiki over here with a uh super expensive uh purses that don't even be looking all that to me personally right they got some Christian Dior saddlebags so they saying they real sisters all right this is Roly and this is the post that she posted when Natalie and Biggie got into it, right? And Anna over the whole Stunner Girl situation it says, Baddie sisters, my ass. You feel me? What they saying in the comments? Oh, there's no comments. Yeah, so um, and this is somebody else that we getting tired of seeing, right? Oh, you said Carly was on uh uh now that's TV okay 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 i know they all be switching back and forth from network to network because carly red was on vh1 love and hip-hop right they all just be switching from network to network but uh yeah so we know roly and tashiki is still locked in okay they still on good terms they still good all right let me see if i can um refresh this and see if they have any comments um Funyan, he's everywhere, y'all. He just laughing. Hey, y'all, Funyan messy as hell. He on all these blogs. All right? He on all of these blogs. Um, And speaking of uh, people that's being cool, Roly and DTB are following each other again. And remember, they allegedly fought. Uh, DTB was talking about her son, allegedly, right? 
And but it seemed like they cool. All right. Somebody said, I want to know why Diamond and Jayla unfollowed each other. Maybe could be due to Ivory. I don't know. Um, I don't know. But yeah, so Roly and DTB are following each other again, which is very interesting because they fought each other. But look, they even posting each other. That's what I'm saying. Can't take these people too seriously. All right. This is all scripted. This is all for TV. Do I believe a lot of these beasts be real? Some of them, yeah. Some of them are real. Male and Ivory is real. You don't just throw no urine on somebody. And y nah, that's crazy. Nah, that's that's crazy. That's crazy. Some of this stuff is real. All right. You said they fight and be cool the next scene. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. But yeah, so they, they posted each other on their stories. Diamond posted Roly. All right. And Roly posted Diamond. Which is very funny because Diamond said she was gonna fight her the very first episode. Oh, you bitches think you tough? Yeah, that's so that that's crazy. Once she fights you, she can be uh she can be your friend. One thing about Roly, she doesn't drag beef with these girls. Once y'all fight, that's it. Unless you bother her, that's why I always uh will like Roly over some of them baddies. Uh, somebody says stun a girl. <laughs> she definitely didn't drag they beef. Uh, she even told Biggie, let it go when they keep uh messing with Stunna. She definitely will whoop your A. Um, let me see. Y'all so messy for the uh second slide. Everyone loves Diamond now, but on Caribbean, it was a different tune. Right. I don't see nothing embarrassing about people forgiving each other after a fight. Roly unfollowed Natalie. She did? Roly unfollow Natalie. I seen that. I wonder why though. Might be the stunner girl situation. Uh, the way she dogged out Biggie. Cause she brought stunner back. Nat said she didn't. So that mean Roly possibly blocked Natalie. Oh. That's some tea. It's embarrassing at this point. Y'all know how Roly is. She just got to hit you. Then y'all can be cool. Baddies either start off enemies and then become friends or start off friends and become enemies. Yup. That sounds about right. They don't need to be fighting anyway. The beef was dumb as F anyways. Diamond got to stop bringing up people's kids. Uh, when stuff start beef uh, becoming fake, stop watching. Y'all messy for posting the second slide. Um, You know what's crazy though? We ain't seen DTB in a minute. Y'all ain't, ain't noticed that? Ever since DTB said they're having, they need to have a house meeting, right? Um, after she fought the, uh, she got attacked by that girl sister, Pretty P, who I actually haven't seen either, right? Um, so Natalie sent a few girls home because I ain't seen nobody. I ain't seen Ivory either. Where Ivory at? Hold on. I don't know. They've been posting all of these clips and stuff. I ain't seen some people, but um, they saying I they saying DTB gone, y'all. Remember DTB posted that she's tired of this, she's leaving, she quitting reality TV after this last season of uh Deja Vu season three that's coming out right that which looks crazy. I ain't gonna lie, they was putting that work. They fighting fighting on there, and DTB fight way different on that show. I don't know if it's. I don't know what it is about the NTTV girls coming over to uh, Zeus and not really not really standing on business and fighting the way that they be fighting on the other networks. I, I don't know. I don't know. Because DTB on NTTV, she be throwing down. But that's all another conversation. Um, She says she done. But we ain't seen her. 
and they just did they they just did their uh appearance in indianapolis right and she wasn't there people was uh asking for uh dtb they said where's diamond we don't care about y'all that's something like that was tashiki talking to i know is that tashiki recording who was that talking who was that on the mic natalie i don't know y'all they all i think they all be switching and wearing the same wigs they like lego heads You said Ivory was in the back when Natalie and Biggie was arguing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I I haven't been seeing I haven't been seeing her as uh as much. Yeah, I know they say uh Big Lex, you know. You know, they said uh you know Big Lex gave her that black eye, and they said Jayla was standing on business with her. So I don't know. You said it might be the food situation. I'll be fed up too. <laughs> you saying they not feeding her? I can respect that about Roly if she's like that. Oh, you talking about uh, that they can fight and then be cool? Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah. So they saying DTB gone, y'all. Uh, they said she's the star of the show. Uh, she needs to come back. Where the f is Diamond? Don't tell me they sent her home. Um, DTB should have been there. I thought somebody, uh, oh, they say somebody passed in her family. Oh, wow. If that's true, man, you know, sorry for her loss, man. I send my condolences. That would actually make sense. Uh, if she left, um, she has to deal with, you know, uh, a loss in the family. Uh, y'all diamond said her aunt was sick, but they didn't send her home. She probably left on her own. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. That's crazy. Okay, so everybody's saying that, saying that to pray for her auntie. Um, she had a family emergency. Okay, so that's that's understandable. Yeah, everybody's saying that her aunt is sick. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, yeah, because uh this is Tinkabella's friend right here. Um, this dude says um he said that um Diamond left. He said she's gone. I asked Tink yesterday did it to believe, and she said yes, she left, but don't say nothing. Nice, but you know, it was only a couple people on here. Fuck it, fuck it. I'll take my chances. Damn this eight, man. Just zesty and messy, y'all. This dude is just zesty and messy. He said Tink because this is Tink Tinka Bella's friend close friend of tinkabella right and y'all know tink and um dtb is cool now he said tinkabella told him not to tell nobody but he said i don't <laughs> what the hell nigga did you know that i can see you oh. Oh. that's crazy come on man <laughs> Bitch. Yes. Okay. Um, and uh, have you been changed in any way according uh, based on what's in front of you? No. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, at this time, the state now moves to admit. Fuck it out. We talking about a little baby in his restaurant. Fuck little baby in his restaurant. Nigga, I'm talking about a kid. You talking about me eating at somebody's fucking restaurant? Come on, man. That's crazy. <laughs> he said Tinkerbella told him not to tell nobody, but still said it. I asked Tink yesterday that he to believe, and she said, yes, she laughed, but don't say nothing. But, you know, it was only a couple people on here. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'll take my chances. I asked Tink yesterday that he to believe, and she said, yes, she laughed, but don't say nothing. But, you know, it was only a couple people on here. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'll take my chances. 
Reading Rainbow. Uh, I'm going to just take a wild guess, y'all, and say that he's a barb. I, 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 I think I'm going to take a wild guess and just, uh, you know, and just guess that he's a bar. Okay. You said E.T. wore Rolly's wig on Batty's. Uh, bro, I'm telling you, they all be uh, switching wigs. They Lego heads. You said he got the cotton candy wig on, the pink uh, <laughs> wig with the beard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling y'all, bro. They be just zesty and messy, huh? <laughs> the pink, pink wig with the beard is crazy, huh? Just messy. <laughs> you said they'll be back. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I think DTB will be back. You said she don't need baddies. Uh, not him with the pink wig. Uh, I said I thought that was a pink do rag, Lord. <laughs> I need my glasses. I said I don't know, but he look a man. <laughs> oh, Roblox head, uh, made by Mattel, the toy company, y'all. Oh, uh, he, he, I think he's a barb, y'all. I think he's a barb, y'all. <laughs> oh y'all i love my chat man oh man i hate y'all man shout out to the grape tea gang man yes she said she thought that was a do-rag <laughs> hold on what it's a do no i think that is he got a skull cap with the wig on let's see what the comments saying i know the cut look somebody said who's oh tinkerbella said who said that oh tinkerbella saying she didn't even say that oh so he just being messy y'all or maybe she did and was and he's he wasn't supposed to say nothing oh my lord tinkerbella's the first comment Um, she said, "Who said that?" DP D. So is DTB still on baddies? Did she leave or not? Pretty sure she left. She wasn't uh, at yesterday's booking. Uh, I can't tell if she's being sarcastic or not. Uh, she didn't belong there. Uh, she's a clout chaser. They're all clout chasers, bruh. Calling any of the baddies clout chasers for being on baddies is so stupid. They all cloud chasers. You're on reality TV. You are a goofy no, bitch. No, that's not true. You keep talking, man. And you shut the fuck up. Huh? Don't say nothing. Him do the exact opposite right. I mean, I, I had a feeling she left when she tweeted that Midwest was uh, her last time doing reality TV. Yeah, but she was the only one on there admitting why she was taking off on people for no reason for clout. No, 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 new, new. A lot of people talked about that. DJ Scott, a lot of people talked about the fake storylines and fighting and stuff. So it wasn't just DTV. Uh, thanks for the ad and not just uh, stealing it. Okay. Uh, she had to leave for her uh, tooth to be put back in. She said that before the season. Um. Oh, she did talk about that too. We did cover that, but I I thought he flew out there because he he came to Oklahoma to give uh Krishan her flipper. Um, low key, you can tell she was over it when she was in Indiana. By not uh that not the ain't nobody on here then gets posted on a T page right. She's already back on NTTV. Uh, now that was uh she recorded that before the Midwest uh the Deja Vu season three. Y'all let me know in the chat if y'all want me to uh, review that show. Y'all let me know in the chat if y'all want me to start reviewing some NTTV as well. Um, uh, Deja Vu season three look real messy. It look real messy. I ain't gonna lie. It look good. 
I, I might have to, uh, but you know, y'all gotta let me know. That's why I start, uh, you know, reviewing baddies. Y'all, y'all start telling, y'all told me to, you know, I should start talking about baddies, you know? <clears throat> so I did that. So y'all let me know if y'all want me to start, uh, talking about NTTV content too. But, um, DTB definitely left. She was not at the hosting the last few days. Um, yeah. So yeah, he's saying that she gone. But you know who else is going, y'all? Yoshi. Yoshi got into a few fights, too. I want to say that she got into a fight with Ivory as well. I got to look at that list again. It was a list that came out with all of the fights of everybody, y'all. And um, Yoshi got into a couple fights with people, okay? But, uh, yeah, Yoshi admitted that she's out, that she's been sent home, too. Right? She made a post. It says, looks like Yoshi Banks, uh, Baddies Midwest Tour has come to an end. She says, going live to explain the tea. Follow my backup page. That's where I'm going live. And um, she says, thank you. And Natalie uh, liked it. She liked the post. Okay? Um, it says, look like Yoshi Banks, uh, Midwest Tour has ended due to an alleged altercation with Jasmine Renee. Oh, they playing fa favorites. Yes, they playing favorites. Because, remember, Jasmine Renee got a chain. And we saw Jasmine Renee uh, shoulder, shoulder to shoulder with Lemmy in the club. Y'all know he like to have his favorites. So, I'm, hey, I'm, I'm just saying. You say you want me to review the NTTV? Okay. Okay. Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. Um... But yeah, yeah, let's see what she got to say, man. Let's see what she got to say. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, Let's refresh this. And I'm sure it got some comments, right? Somebody says, why is everyone leaving though? Because they getting replaced. They getting replaced. Okay. Um... I, I believe the show is ending. That's how you know something not right. Uh, did she go live yet? Looks like Pocahontas doll. Look like a Pocahontas doll. Wish her all the best. Oh, yeah. I mean, she's she's a pretty girl. She's a pretty girl. I, I like her. She's pretty and she can rap. Oh, she rap too? Most of these girls be doing music, huh? <clears throat> or they be like acting or doing something, right? They all be doing something. I don't, I don't, I don't really be knowing. I don't really be paying attention, you know. Um, but that's just me. <laughs> Y'all be having to let me know where these girls be coming from. They on NTTV. They was on Love and Hip Hop. They was on this. They was on that. I don't be knowing. I don't be knowing. Y'all be having to let me know. All right. Y'all be having to let me know. Uh, but yeah, Yoshi is gone and DTB is gone, y'all. I'm going to keep y'all updated with anybody else. All right. I'm going to keep y'all updated with anybody else. We saw Nunu is still there. Okay. We saw Slim is still there. We saw Tommy just arrive, right? So it, it, it's, oh, hey, have we seen AK Bar still there, right? I think AK Bar is still there, right? I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if AK Bar was uh, gone. But we know this Thunder Girl situation got hot and heavy, okay, between uh, uh, Biggie, Anna Mac, and um, Natalie. But now Anna Mac and Natalie is cool. But apparently Biggie and Natalie is still on bad terms. It's still beef. You said they just be putting anybody on, on baddies. You said they all expendable. Right. The expendables. That's funny. I like that. <laughs> I like that. That's funny. That's crazy. Oh. That's crazy. <laughs> They're all expendable. Okay. But yeah, I haven't seen Stunner Girl yet, so I don't know if she's gonna be there on the next booking. I'm not, I'm not sure how that's working out. But yeah, Stunner Girl is back. Okay. 
snatch the mic and have the audacity, audacity to tell the DJ, yo, Natalie, what the f you want, bro? Why the f you tell him play that weekend? Stunner girl song. I, we don't fuck with her. She don't fuck with you. She don't fuck with Zeus. Why the fuck you? I don't give a fuck who with me or doesn't fuck with me. If the fans want to hear Nicki Minaj or they want to hear Ice Spice, they want to hear Cardi B. I don't. I don't get involved in all. I don't give a fuck. play this. I'm a bob my head and I'm a. I'm gonna be right there, just like I'm right there with all the baddies hyping them up with their songs. I don't take it personal. I don't give a f So you want to call me out on the stage and you want to tell the DJ why you playing this person's song? F that f And Natalie, you're stupid as fuck for playing their sh Man, give me that mic. Shut up, DJ, to play whatever the fuck the fans want to hear. What are you talking about? What are you on? Like, what? how does this even make... The, the hating it is... Yes, the hating shit is out of control. We we need to stop with the hating. Shit. Period point blank. We need to stop. Stop being a hater. Stop being a hater. We all can win. Whether you like someone or not, stop being a hater. Biggie to snatch the mic and have the audacity, audacity to tell the DJ Yo, Natalie, what the f you want, bro? Why the f you tell him play that weak ass stunner girl song? I so, y'all already know about that, though, right? But, you know, this stems from a lot of beef, man. Y'all had to let me know about the whole club situation, and <clears throat> they fought multiple times on previous seasons. Like, it's crazy, right? So, apparently, Biggie and stunner girl beef, like, really runs deep. Because this is, this is off the show, right? Oh, she oh, they gotta do this. Bruh, hey, Biggie run real fast. Hey, hey, for a big girl, she be moving. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Like to move it. Dig back, dig back, dig back, dig back. Down the back, you load it up with snacks and different food. Squeeze into this tiny shirt, my big back has no room. Y'all, she be moving. Yo, are you serious, bitch? Are you serious? Why is she running on? Oh, 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 oh my god y'all i i'm watching this live with y'all i didn't know they caught up to her i didn't know they caught up to her y'all oh my oh my lord this is crazy i just saw that she was running i didn't know they caught up to her oh my god it shouldn't be funny like that but I didn't know they caught up to her because she was literally running saying, are you not serious? Are you not serious? Oh my Lord. That's crazy. Oh my Lord. L let me see real quick, y'all. Did, did they really put the pause on her? Let, this is crazy. Hold on. <laughs> y'all. <laughs> this is when it started getting real. Some of this stuff is real. When it's off camera, it's real. When Bonnie, uh, when, uh, not Bonnie Lachey, <laughs> the circus, it's all of the same stuff, but Zeus Network and all that stuff, right? Um, uh, when Bonnie, Bianca Bonnie, right? Bianca, right? Um, was telling Asian all to pull up on her. That's real. That's real, right? She talking about pulling up on her on, um, you know what I'm saying? Off camera. When it's off camera, it's real. You know, when, when they do all of this stuff for the cameras, you got to question it. Right? It's scripted. But when they, um, when, when it's off camera, you know, this is real. So let me see if they really beat her up. Like, I don't want to put it on, you know what I'm saying? We still got to keep it YouTube friendly. So when they caught her in the car, that caught me off guard, y'all. Let me see. Oh, what are you doing? 
Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. oh, it didn't. Oh, so that's when they was chasing the car. So, okay, I can show this now. So they was jumping her when she got in the car and they was able to slam the car and drive away. Then they started chasing her. Yo, that's like Grand Theft Auto. What the hell? Damn. Wow. No. Oh, we got to leave. Oh. Damn, she was just running the whole time. Oh, my God. Oh, she running. Oh, they got her running. Yo, are you serious, bitch? Oh, she ran it. Oh, they got her ready. Oh, oh, get up on her. Get up on Yo, are you serious, bitch? Bitch, are you serious? Why she keep saying, are you serious? Yes, they're serious. I think if they chase you and you ask, are they serious 36 million times? I think they're serious. Y'all know what that remind me of? Remember, uh, are we there yet, y'all? Remember they make fun of the kids? Are we there yet? 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 Or that meme with uh, Stewie on Family Guy? Mom. Mommy. Mama. Mommy. Mom. You said I don't feel bad for Biggie. She jumped in stunner and Tommy Beef. All that could have been avoided. Hey, I respect it. That's a good point. That's a good point. Hey, hell is scary, bitch. Get out the car, bitch. Get out the car. Hey, hell is scary, bitch. Get out the car, bitch! Get out the car! Get out the Yeah, this was over this situation. coming back obviously right from that situation but we still got her husband still speaking on her man this dude is crazy y'all all right he said the realest red rum red rum you going viral in miami for couch surfing um oh oh no she posted this about her baby y'all they still back and forth my bad y'all <sighs> so her ex-husband husband i don't know what the ex okay and Stunner Girl is still going back and forth, right? So she posted this dude and said, you going viral in Miami for couch surfing and trafficking on, oh my God, on uh, Youngins, okay? Mr. Broke CEO. Oh my Lord, this is so petty. She says, every time my name brought up, this broke ad ninja pop up from the, uh, <laughs> from the grave. Uh, you knew me for two years, gang, and lied to the world saying you knew me since we were young. Because you running from your real life. You were sucking D and snitching before you met me in 2022. They only been together for two years? Really? You wasn't a part of this stunner girl-ish. Uh, you wasn't in the paint with me. I was outside before you thought, but before you was thought of. You a nobody. 
Uh, you wasn't off the porch. You came around clout chasing off my name, trying to be me. What? I had you trying to be a rapper. Then I had you trying to be a reality TV star. I had to introduce you to the world. I was already stunner girl. You can't say the name. Uh, get off my D. Y'all, this is so toxic. And you know what's so crazy? I wouldn't even be uh, surprised if they start messing with each other again. I would not be surprised if they start dating again. Okay? Because th these people, we know how they get. You can't be in people's business. All right? Safari, and um, we know the situation with Safari. And um, what's the girl name, y'all? Erica Mena, right? We talked about that, right? Y'all know he already talking about that he'll never get over her. And we saw Darius Jackson get back with Kiki Palmer after she put them false allegations on him, right? Uh, Chris Sean and, uh, and um, Blueface, right? Like, bruh, come on, man. You can't take these people seriously, okay? You cannot, uh, Cardi being offset, all right? The list goes on, all right? Check this out. I would not be surprised if uh, Stunner Girl and Moolah, whatever his name is, start messing with each other again. What did I just say about me and my baby mother? What did I just say? This, this is recently, y'all. This was today or yesterday after he came up with the video um, exposing Eric Minnan for being an unstable creature. Hey, you. So you can't let her go, man. Just can't let her go. Exactly. He's texting me saying I'm I'm hiding. I'm like, yo, uh, I'm sitting here right now talking. Strong. I'm sitting here right now talking about how ignorant the shit is that we do and everything in between us, and then we end up here again. Hold on. What did I just say about there you go? There you go. So I uh I don't know, y'all. I don't know. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if somehow, some way, they get back together. Or I wouldn't be surprised if they still smash it. You know? Right? You said Natalie want to be ghetto so bad. Yeah, yeah, because this ain't the same Natalie from Bad Girls Club. She was Valley Girl. All right? Uh, Stenna girl was an escort. Anna exposed the receipt. She might be, uh, oh my lord, allegedly. Allegedly, she do got allegations surviving Stunner girl. You said Stunna be quiet. I don't like Stunna either. I don't like none of these people. You said this is giving, um, Cardi an offset. Yes, it is. You said sad truth. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Let's see what the comments say. Uh, um, not gonna lie, she go eat every time, but she didn't eat, wasn't it? Her trying to tell the world that he was the hardest around and nobody would uh even try her because of him and blah 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 right now he's zesty and broke which if which if it is true uh she knew both of those prior yep exactly so miss me with that they both just need to be quiet at this point yes do people not realize uh you don't know ish really about someone until after the relationship ended oh my god get out of here She's the definition of toxic and negative energy, even in her music. But you was with him. Make it make sense. Y'all belong together. Right. 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 Okay. And y'all know the baddies is not having this. They're not feeling it. They think this is petty. This is trash. Tashiki and Asian Doll has something to say about this. Okay. Tashiki and Asian Doll has something to say about this. So Tashiki says, this is whack. As baddies, we when we outside, we supposed to stick together no matter what, no matter how much we go at it in the house. Because the moment we open, uh, we open the can to disrespect each other in public gives outsiders comfort to do the same to us. I feel both could have uh, handled this situation differently. But hey, what the heck? Then Asian Doll says, Biggie got to chill. For real, baddies supposed to stick together when they outside. Never try to embarrass the other and don't get so mad at the situation that you bring back someone that want to be instead uh, of falling in line. Natalie, I think Biggie should apologize and y'all should just dust this ish off and keep it pushing. 
I don't know. Bringing Stunner Girl back will make the views go up. Duh, that's why they did it. It's all about money. It's all about money. On. Duh. All right, Natalie don't care. She's a money maker. She's an opportunist. She's a businesswoman. All right. Okay. She do not care. Bitch, calm down. It's just Instagram. Be I know you don't. I know you don't believe that. Be I know you don't believe that. That's why I'm not jumping. That's why Scotty just. Okay, she not tripping. Send Biggie home. I only like to see her get tossed around. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Biggie either, y'all. I'm that's Biggie irritating. They ain't gonna forever hate Biggie for speaking up and saying that they all scared uh saying what they all scared to say. What do you mean? Biggie just like her. She was all with Tommy when Nat and her was beefing. There you go. Tommy is her friend. I don't know why y'all, why you're on Natalie's messy side. Um Nah, Nat needs to apologize for bringing her up in the situation. They all ops. Biggie always getting bucked with Natalie. Where was this energy for uh, with J.O.? Uh-oh. I feel like she cooked right there. I feel like she cooked. <laughs> all right. I, I think she cooked with that one. Because uh, J.O. for sure punched her in the face message all right um but yeah so biggie is still throwing shade at natalie and natalie throwing shade at biggie that's why i'm telling you it's still beef i think this is real okay so somebody says she going to have to stop disrespecting the queen like that period um uh natalie says i've had it i've, I've had enough biggie says get the f out of here uh i'm a big boss uh too but i'm gonna speak up every time everyone around me should respect me in some way f out of here respect her uh nat you are weird you are weird right all this of a stunner girl song um biggie be quiet you ain't go do nothing gag us uh to respect you you is mad pressed and a hater if she respected natalie though None of this would have had been happening in the first place. This is the second time she did some extra stuff at the club hosting. Right. All of this over a song. Piggy. Oh, my God. They call her Piggy. Um, Piggy loves to pick and choose. If Nat and Tommy can hug it out uh, and let the past be the past, you can do the same thing with uh, Stunna. It's given obsession. Uh, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> bitch right to say what we want oh uh, shut up when you think about fuck it up. i didn't know about piggy piggy uh needs to learn when to stop she can't fight that seems like that's most of these people though right and then y'all see they on the uh they on the plane together they on a private jet uh going to the next city right and remember we be noticing some people don't be on the plane y'all be noticing that natalie be playing her favorites nope. you already know i'm on a chat with talking about the motherfucking legend baby my big sister in the car good who else we got <laughs> So I think if you got a baddies chain, you get special privileges, I guess. Because we know Tinka got a baddies chain, uh, Jayla, Tashiki, Lex just got one. So I don't know. All right, no, I'm on a jet. Rolly. We're talking about some motherfucking legend, baby. I don't know. I don't know. Biggie lost her jet privileges. She got kicked off the jet. All right. You remember the song? 
Tempted to touch, tempted to touch. I wanna, I wanna lay you so much. She got kicked off the jet, kicked off the jet. And now Biggie riding the bus, riding the bus, riding the bus. All right. All right. <laughs> I think that's what happened, y'all. Because Biggie for sure not on this plane. Biggie lost her jet privileges. Tashiki ain't got no loyalty. She want to stay on Natalie uh, good side so bad. DTB should have been instead of Lex. Looks like Anna and Biggie ain't tr uh, flying on the jet no more. Oh, Anna wasn't on there too? Uh, oops, no Ivory. But they put big Lex on the jet. Apparently, Lex was beating up on her. Oh! Okay. All right. I don't know. They said Tashiki, they forced Tashiki to pick a side. So Tashiki chose Natalie's side, of course, over uh Anna and um uh Biggie. Okay, Little Mac and Big Mac, Timon and Pumba, all right, Cow and Chicken. All right. Um what what was another? <laughs> we got so many names for them, y'all. Uh Ren and Stimpy. How many destinations are they going to? It seems like they're going all over um the midwest because i think they're going to st louis next i think they're going to st louis next <clears throat> somebody said roly is uh getting big again uh i thought i was the only one noticing um mm, these three oh foes be so fake man they said it's been to be a long season yeah they recording for 40 days now you all really seeing what Krishan was talking about with Tashiki. A uh, bunch of dressed up men. Oh my lord. They said they look like Transformer. What's between your thighs? Yeah, Biggie got kicked off the uh, jet, y'all. Look at her. She on the bus, y'all. Tour life almost fell. This bus going. Look, she almost fell. Look at her. Uh-oh. Yeah, she on the bus, y'all. Looks like Biggie will not be riding the rest of the, uh, with the OGs on the private jet. Honestly, I just can't get into Biggie since Baddies West. Something don't sit right with me. <laughs> I, I Yeah, she's annoying. Dude, same. Everyone wants to feel bad for her. I just find her corny since West. Didn't fight Roly or Tommy for playing in her face. Oh, and J.O. She's corny. She a wannabe. I stopped taking her seriously after the video of her running from Stunner Girl. She knows she hurt for real. Um. Uh, oh, my God. Not everyone needs uh, a bunch of uh, seasons. Right. Please get her off the show. Dang. Nobody like her. Her voice uh, deeper than Boss Bandilo's. Um, her and Anna need to go home. Probably mad about Stunner. Natalie really said Biggie is back on the bus. She really said that. When has she, when has she never seen her on a jet? Cause she don't know as she wants. People can't even talk, bro. I'm trying to read, bro. Giving me a brain a brain freeze. But yeah, everybody roasting her, man. It seemed like a lot of people was tired of her. They said Anna not uh, on a jet either. Oh. So Anna and Natalie is cool. Where's the Ivory girl? So Ivory on the bus too. That's what she get for uh, talking about the replacements. Yep, she was talking about the replacements. So I think this was her, uh, you know, she back to reality. You said Biggie needs to be home uh, and not on the Jess or the bus. Dang. You said that was your son? She's on the bus. She's on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> uh they need to uh they need a filter on tink for the whole show <sighs> oh my god y'all so mean y'all but y'all know damn well tink look crazy without that damn makeup and wig <laughs> bitch and talking all that trash about the replacements and all them people uh biggie now your ass on the bus Embarrassment when you was embarrassed in your 
okay? Because she was not on the uh, plane. They was flying to uh, St. Louis, y'all. They in St. Louis now, coming from um, coming from Indianapolis. All right, baddies, we're here in St. Louis. They doing the pose for me challenge. So that that that's look the OGs. This is this is the people that got the private jet uh privileges. Jayla, Roly, uh, Big Lex now, Scotty, Tashiki, okay, and Tinka. Every, basically, everybody that got changed other than Anna Mac and Ivory. Okay. They said uh, Biggie must be with Group B. So Tashiki not holding her girls down, huh? He one of Nat Minions now. She literally holds no loyalty. Uh-oh. She grown as hell. She don't have to be around them 24-7. Y'all got the mentality of 14-year-olds. I'm tired of seeing the same girls, bro. Me too. Scotty and Jayla gotta go. They are so boring. Uh, the MVP, uh, they not going nowhere. So is Diamond not there anymore? Yeah, they already said that. Who's in the back of uh, Biggie Wide back? Oh, my Lord. That's Big Lex. Uh, two of them I can't even recognize. Somebody tell me who that's who all that in the pick. Tommy was right about Roly. Thought it was Biggie. Oh, my Lord. Please get some new girls now. It's time to switch these old hags. Oh, my Lord. Called the baddies. Oh, the OG baddies. Old hags. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> if you don't get that bullshit out of my face, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. But um have y'all do y'all remember this girl named Talone? Do y'all do y'all remember this girl named Talone? She was on Bad Girls Club season 16. Okay. Um, and she actually talks about declining baddies, and then uh she speaks her truth. She says all baddies do is degrade our women. All right. You know, she says it degrades melanated women or FBA women. All right. Even though a lot of these women aren't even black and aren't even FBA. Let's talk about that. You said Scotty is a permanent fixture. Yes, she is. As long as Lemmy has something to do with it. All right. You said Roly definitely looking uh, uh, for the same again. Right. Uh, oh, you said Roly looking the same. Yeah, yeah. Roly don't even look like she had the lipo. All right. You said Lemmy need an excuse to keep uh, Scotty and Jayla. All of them around. Allegedly. Anna, all of them. Let me be all under Scotty Post. She not going anywhere. Man, that's crazy. Biggie, you not uh on the brown nose inside anymore. Um, yeah. But this Talone girl was keeping it 100. Tell me how y'all feel about her. All right. She says all baddies is, is is about is fighting. But this girl was she was on um Bad Girls Club, and I feel like that's what Bad Girls Club was doing. It was the same stuff. It's literally the same show to me. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. I don't like is the fact that some of the supporters of that BGC, not even BGC, we ain't even gonna say BGC because it ain't even giving BGC. It's giving the baddies franchise, okay? The baddies supporters. What we're not going to do is sit up here and make it seem like every single bad girl that was affiliated with Natalie or whatever the case may be, Bad Girls Club want to be a part of Baddies. Let's get that correct, okay? Because one thing about it, two things for sure, I never gave that I was geeking to be a part of Baddies. Never. If you really want to know the real truth and the story behind what happened between Baddies and I, let's talk about it. Back in 2020, when Natalie asked me to be a part of Baddies, the first season, I declined. I was going through a real bad depression in my life, and it wasn't given that I was getting get, it wasn't given that I was getting ready to get on TV and explode myself for a couple of views. Now, back in the day, me and Natalie used to be close. It wasn't given like best friends close, but it was given very much need to support my music. And I used to, you know, have conversations with her in the DMs and we would be cool. We was following each other. Yeah. 
the reason why I declined to go on bad is the first season was because I was going through the depression. 2018 and 2020, I suffered from a real bad manic episode that went viral. I posted myself on the internet when I lost a hell of a lot of weight and I was really going through a dark period in my life. Back then, when I was going through that whole depression state and I went through that manic episode, Natalie knew about it. I'm not going to say that she didn't care about it, but Natalie definitely knew that I was going through a bad period in time because I was going viral. And I'm not sure if that was the reason why she reached out to me. I don't know. Only her and God know about that. Baddie season came out, I guess, with Sway and Krishan rocking them and all of them on there. I declined that one also. I'm getting ready to keep asking my supporters to go tag Zeus, tag Nag her, tag this, tag that, just to be a part of the show. I'm sorry, I'm just not that type of feeling. I'm not geeking to be on no television show and I'm very comfortable with where I am in life right now. And the last season, which was I guess when she came to DC and it was the whole uh, West Coast, East shit, I said West Coast, bitch that's Kylie. East Coast thing, yeah, I only reached out to Natalie because the supporters <laughs> kept asking me, Taylor, like, he needs you to be on there, like, please, like, you know, I know you and Natalie had y'all more conversation, just talk to her and see what's going on, we really want to see you, so I'm like, all right, me and Natalie spoke about, you know, oh, we're, are you ready, you know, are the girls good, will, 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 will anybody be watching the girls, and da 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 da, I'm like, yeah, I'm ready, if you need me to come out there, I'm gonna come out there because my supporters want me to come out there, she was like, yeah, you know, are you ready because we're getting the girls together just to meet your YouTube situation. I guess all your clips off of YouTube. I sent her all my clips off but she was like, alright, yeah, we're going to get in touch with you. Alright, I left that shit alone went back to my life. So I guess some weeks had went past, like a week I believe like a week or two, I'm not sure of the time, the timeline, but some days had went past and then I was on the internet and I seen that you know she already had the cast uh, chosen. So I was like, oh, okay, no, no problem. I'm not geeking off of that. So I just sent her a text. I was like, you know, Natalie, you could have just told me that you had the cast ready. But, you know, I wish y'all all the best with y'all cast. And I left it alone. I said, thank you for the opportunity, some shit like that. And I left okay. it not that old. Oh, us bad girls just want to just like tear her name apart and make her look this certain type of way. No, she's already made herself look this way. And the difference between what people not understanding is Bad Girls Club was a little raunchy, but it's giving very much like Natalie is a boss. That's one thing that I can give her. She know how to get to her bag. That's one thing I'm going to give her credit for. And if you wanted to do baddies the right way, you could have. All that that I be singing, because I don't subscribe to Zeus. I don't watch Zeus. I don't know nothing about Zeus outside of what I see when the girls be tweeting it. You having them girls on the, on, at, at them auditions, first of all, they say that you have them waiting outside for hours and hours and hours. When you do come, you just be acting like you just this bitch. When you do come, it's like it's giving, you want these girls to punch each other in the face for no fucking reason. You want these girls to kiss each other, show their titties, do all this the great and shit. And it's giving very much like, I'm mad for y'all. It ain't, I'm not against y'all. If anything, I'm mad because it's like. I ain't gonna lie, she cooking right now. She cooking. I mean, t tell me where she lying. My only thing is the hypocrisy of, of, of her saying that <coughs> she declined um, baddies and maybe it wasn't so popular at that time. I think maybe, um, I think maybe, you know, she tried to get her on the show in the early seasons, right? And then by the time, you know, by the time they did the uh, East Coast, it was already popping. I think uh, baddies really start popping when they did uh, baddies West. Once they did baddies West and East and Caribbean, now now it's it's out of here, right? Because I, I remember they did Atlanta. They, you know, what I'm saying like baddies been around for a little minute, right? Because that's the remember uh, that's when Patrick Starr was on the show, right? But anyways, um, she said no, she was going through something, obviously, right? She, you know, I totally understand. She said she had a manic episode. Mental health is uh wealth, okay? Health is wealth. So her mental health was way more paramount, was way more important. I understand, right? But the way she's talking about it is like, oh, I'm not, you know, and then she says she don't know nothing about Zeus and, and, and baddies and all that stuff. She only react to what she see. Uh, I'm not believing that. 
especially after she said when they did baddies east she reached out to be on the show and by that time it was like it was it was too late i guess natalie like nah right she said she only reached out because of the uh her supporters uh i don't know i don't know i think she i think she want to be on baddies it's just she is it's, it's just no it's a no now and now she exposing it now but that that doesn't mean she's not uh clocking baddies t all right but i'm gonna be honest with y'all um i remember bad girls club all right my big sister y'all loved bad girls club all right that's the only reason i even knew about them right i, I think it came on on oxygen back in the day this, this one i was in middle school uh bad girls club first episode was in uh the mid mid 2000s right then they're 20 years ago right so if you look up just bad girls club compilations them girls was getting down don't get it twisted they was fighting so i don't really see too much difference other than they had a more diverse cast you know they had the becky's becky's and uh karen's on there going crazy on each other right but you know with with, with our melanated queens sprinkled in baddies it seem like it's it, it's the opposite all right they got you know they got uh melanated women right sprinkled in with the little karens with the little anna max and uh gretchen's and mariah lynn's in there but for the most part it's all melanated women right um but yeah i mean it's all toxic it's all toxic all right oh you said her and uh persuasion was on the same uh season okay you said uh, uh yeah you peeped that too yeah you peeped that yeah she definitely um she she, she sounds she sounds like she want to be on the show and that opportunity has passed by and it is what it is because let's be honest y'all since baddies west it's gotten more popular and popular right even Sean had to come back and get that check she thought she was bigger than baddies no baddies just got bigger it just got bigger and better now i will say caribbean was uh lackluster but they made up for it with the reunion and i think midwest is gonna top that they got a lot of people a lot of fan favorites whether you hate them love them or hate them you got them back right she got the um got uh patrick star back sydney right got um stunner girl right uh tashiki throwing down got ivory on the show now bad dolly was uh throwing it down uh, apparently big lexus uh you earned her chain beating up people so hey you know damn like even though bad girls club was not the best it was not like that and i don't know nothing about what people talk about oh sexual assault and all that other shit. i don't got nothing to do with that that ain't nothing that i'm that i'm putting my name with ask the ask the girls that it happened to and they can be able to explain their situation and now my condolences go out to them if that did happen all I know is I don't have to go audition and do all that extra shit. I don't know if they did auditions, but to my knowledge, I don't think that the auditions went down like that because the producers very much was not playing that shit. Okay, because guess what? It was called a liability. That's the difference between being on a app and on a television show. When you're on a worldwide television show, it's certain shit. Man, she throwing shade now, y'all. Look, look. I was with her. I'm, you can be right, okay? Two things can be right at the same time, right? You can be right and wrong at the same time, too. All right? It's, it's, it's nuanced to this, okay? It can be fluid, right? Um, She's absolutely right about ba uh, about baddies. It's, it's toxic. It's crazy. Um, it, it's, it's, it's crazy, right? <clears throat> it's not a good look. It do... Uh, promote stereotypes right but i feel like bad girls club did the same thing but then you throwing it under the bus saying oh it's just an app i was on tv it's on tv blah blah, blah. that's the difference blah 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 but girl you just said that you reached out to be on baddies east uh yeah uh i don't even watch it i don't watch this loop i only i only uh reached out because my fans and supporters uh you know a lot about the damn show to not watch it you know it's giving kendrick lamar you a fan 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 i don't know 
But uh, it do seem like, you know, Baddie's got a little too much going on, especially when it comes to these allegations, right? That the network is not going to allow. When you're on the app, you can do what the fuck you want to do. Okay? But let's be real. It's giving very much degrading our race. That's what I'm pissed about. And that's what I speak about that Natalie do not like. It's giving very much, let's get a bunch of black African-American girls and play on them. That's what it's giving. It's giving very much less play on the black community since we know they love a the little good entertainment. Oh, they gonna pay they five ninety nine to watch this drama because that's how they're making their bag. It's giving very much their your soul and your identity to the fact that you got them girls going on there and y'all just got them doing anything for a fucking ticket. That all they gonna do is just carry that shit home with them and put it on the motherfucking in, in, in the trash probably because what else they gonna do with it just to say oh they was on there. And yeah, I give it to you. Yeah, some of them girls, they do know better because they do watch it and they do see that you're not going to get picked. So I give you that. That, that. that is very much true. However, when you're being sold a lie, you feed into that. And some of the girls probably do go on there just to be seen, even if it's going to be on the app for them being seen on the auditions, in the auditions. So I get it. She may not be all the way the problem but she's half of the problem what i don't like is the fact that some of the supporters of that bgc not even bgc we ain't even gonna say bgc because it ain't even giving bgc it's giving i i agree with her i i agree with her i agree with, yeah she wanted to be part of the uh, confusion uh she wanted to be sold the same lie right 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 um I, I I just I don't get it, man. I don't get it. I'm trying to make it make sense. I'm trying to make it make sense. How you throwing Zeus and bad uh baddies under the bus, right? But you literally said that you reached out to be on the show, and all of a sudden, since you was denied, now you got something to say. Would you be saying the same thing if you wasn't on the show? I have questions. November 12, 2015. Yes. Okay. Um, and uh, have you been changed in any way according, uh, based on what's in front of you? No. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, at this time, the state now moves to admit. Yeah, so do I agree with her? Yes. To a certain extent, we always uh, expose and talk about how crazy and, you know, trifling and, you know, how much of a liability uh their business practices you know allegedly when it comes to lemmy and uh natalie and uh booty butt cheeks jocelyn jose uh when it comes to zeus right but these people are grown y'all they sign up for this these are not these are not you know what i'm saying these these ain't kids man these ain't teenagers these are grown women grown men because we, we got to talk about bad boys and you know other shows too right the people that come on the show right um, they know what they doing. They know what they signed up for being on uh baddies and all of these different shows and being on Zeus. So I just think that she's mad that she wasn't able to uh get on get on the show. So she just taking out her frustrations, throwing Natalie under the bus, Zeus under the bus. That, that that's just my opinion. All right, y'all we can agree to disagree, but that's what it's giving. All right, that's what it's giving. You keep talking, man, and you shut the fuck up. Huh? Right. Just say what we want. Ah, uh, shut up. When the you think about it. Up. All right. So you know, it is what it is. She, she throwing uh the baddies under the bus. Oh, I was on a real network. Uh, oxygen. You know, uh, compared to Zeus, it's an app and blah de blah blah. I don't know. All right. You know, this is crazy though. Uh, but y'all know I'm gonna keep y'all updated when it comes to the baddies. Okay, y'all know I'm gonna keep y'all updated. For one, we can say this: there's some unstable creatures. A house full of women, cub. House full of sensitive ass females dealing with they damn hormones. Y'all some unstable creatures. Y'all ain't gonna say the b word. I'm gonna say unstable creatures. It's my new word. Yeah. Anyways, y'all, uh, I'm gonna keep y'all updated. The baddies is baddying. The baddies is baddying. All right.